Bianca Legera is out and its replacements are here. Let's see how they stack up. Hey guys, welcome back to my Zao Molly. I'm Ash Molly and today we're going to be taste testing the new Bianco Piccolo and Bianco Doppio. But before we get into the video guys, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. You guys can also find me over on Instagram and TikTok where I make daily coffee recipe videos. If that's something you're interested in, you can find me right here. Let's taste test the new Bianco Piccolo and Doppio. So I know you've heard by now, Bianco Leggero, this guy, it's being discontinued. It's a crowd favorite and so no one can understand why Nespresso has decided to discontinue this pod, but at least they didn't disappoint and they did launch two new ones, Bianco Piccolo and Bianco Doppio. Now, both of these pods are barista creation, so they are made to pair back nicely with milk. Milk enhances its flavor, much like Bianco Leggero. Bianco Doppio here is supposed to be Bianco Leggero's official replacement, as it is a double espresso, much like Bianco Leggero. But Nespresso was nice enough to throw in a whole new espresso pod with Bianco Piccolo. So we're going to make this video nice and simple. I'm going to taste test both of these and we're going to brew up a Bianco Leggero and see how they compare. Let's taste test. Alrighty guys, so I've got my Bianco Leggero brewed. I've got some milk that we're gonna mix it with because you know, Bianco Leggero pairs back beautifully to milk. So let's taste this so we have a baseline for what the other pods are supposed to taste like. Just like I remember, it's very smooth, very light pod. I think it's an excellent beginner's pod too. This was the pod I loved the most when I first started drinking Nespresso. And um, I think it's just a good introduction to coffee. Let's add some milk. See what we think. You know, I don't drink Bianca too often anymore. And I wasn't going to stockpile like everybody is doing. But maybe I'll grab a few sleeves. Because it's just a really comforting pod. It's light, it's creamy, it's biscuity. All of the things that Nespresso says it is. So now that we have the baseline, let's try out Doppio. So let's talk Bianco Doppio. Let's uh, see what it looks like first and foremost. I like to open from here so it's not too messy. And there we have it guys, Bianco Doppio. Now, according to Nespresso, this coffee was crafted to match your longer milky treats. Nespresso describes Bianco Doppio as nutty and balanced. It has a low bitterness, low roastness, but quite a bit of body. <laughs> with milk, Bianco Doppio has a sweet profile with fruity, biscuity, and cereal notes, and a creamy texture. So, sounds a lot like Bianco Leggero, biscuity, cereal we like it of course you guys know it's a double espresso a 2.7 ounce just like bianco leggero <laughs> let's taste test bianco doppio So I have brewed up my Bianco Doppio double espresso. Again, this one is supposed to be fruity, biscuity, cereal, creamy texture. So let's see how it compares. Oh, okay, okay, Doppio. 
don't know what's wrong with me. I'm sorry. But I love this already because it's just as smooth as Bianca Leggero. Just as smooth, just as mild, but you do taste the fruit because it's got that little kind of like tangy taste to it. So I don't know how that will compare, but let's add the milk and see what we think. Yeah, I like that. Actually, I actually think it's a, like a little bit milder than Bianca Leggera, but you can definitely taste the fruit. Let's add some milk. Let's give it a go. <laughs> oh, that's really nice, guys. I think any of you who are skeptical that, oh my gosh, Bianca Leggero is going away, what will I do? Nespresso came through. Nespresso, thank you for coming through. This is really good. Mm, mm -hmm. It does have a slight hint of fruit, but with the milk added, not too intense. Let's see. Bianca Leggero. Hmm. Guys, quite similar. I think Doppio is a little bit lighter than Bianca Leggero, so I think you guys will appreciate that. Guys, they're delicious. I'm here to tell you, scoop up the Bianco Doppio. You're going to love it. Alrighty, so now that we've tried Bianco Doppio, let's give Bianco Piccolo a try. Nespresso was nice enough to give us a single espresso in this barista creation line. So let's see what it's all about. Let's see what it looks like. It's a little chocolate thing. We love that. Guys, this is Bianco Piccolo. Piccolo. Very Italian, right? <laughs> now, what does Nespresso have to say about Bianco Piccolo? It says, it's pure synergy when you add milk to your Bianco Piccolo for milk coffee. Nespresso also describes Bianco Piccolo as nutty and balanced, and it says, a sweet and smooth texture, notes of biscuit and caramel. Mm, caramel? Piccolo comprises of a thicker, darker roast than Doppio. So it looks like we can expect this one to be a little bit darker, but I do love it that it has caramel notes. This one doesn't have fruity notes. So if you're not down for the fruit, maybe you will like this one better. It is a 1.35 ounce single espresso shot and um, yeah, nutty and balanced. So yeah, let's go ahead and try Bianco Piccolo and see what we think. Alrighty, so I've got my Bianco Piccolo brewed single espresso shot. Let's try it out and see what we think. Remember, it's supposed to be notes of caramel and biscuity, so let's see how it stacks up. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm quite enjoying these because they're all very, very smooth. So you can definitely see how these are meant to pair back to milks. That is smooth. Like this is an espresso. If you wanted, you could enjoy it on its own. We're going to go ahead and add some milk. A little sprinkle. See what we think. Oh, it's quite lovely. I'm trying to decide whether I'm getting those notes of caramel and notes of like biscuity notes. Definitely biscuity because any anytime Nespresso says biscuity, hey biscotti, you know who I'm talking about. Um, it's usually very creamy, very smooth. Yeah, it's really good, guys. It's very good. Very creamy, very biscuity. I'm not really getting caramel. Not going to lie about that. 
but that's what caramel syrup is for i like it overall guys these two pods in my book are a hit i think that they're a great replacement for bianca leggero and if you guys are lovers of bianca leggero i'm quite sure you're gonna love these too as always guys drop it in the comments down below let me know have you tried the new bianco doppio and piccolo yet what are your thoughts don't forget you guys can find me over on tiktok and instagram where i make daily coffee recipe videos i'm gonna link those right in the description for you because you don't want to miss out on the daily coffee recipes right guys thank you for stopping by me as molly and i'll see you next time